Alright guys, what's up? Theming Boys here and I'm back with another video. This time we are doing another crafting session. You know the drill. We have a stash tab full of um, resonators and we have a bunch of stitch and vices. This time we also have an opal ring because we're gonna try something new um, <laughs> as it's soon new year. So um, yeah, um, this uh, this session here will be a little bit more focused on newer players because I've been getting a lot of requests on like why do we do this, why do we use these fossils etc. So this is going to be more of like an explaining video um, so it might be a little bit longer. Um, let's just let's turn off the live chat really quick here. Okay so first of all we are using fossils to craft. Fossils is a type of um, currency or yeah I don't know what you call it. Um, that you can put in these uh, resonators here. These resonators have uh, come within a variety of sizes. Some of them have three sockets, some of them have four, some of them have one, etc. Uh, one second. Yeah, so as you can see, this one is a three socket one, and then we also have, I think, these are one socket ones here, etc. Um, I have a four socket one at some some place I think too, but yeah. So um, they decide on like how many fossils you can fit in them, and the fossils they're basically um, kind of telling uh, or deciding what outcomes can uh, like have the chances of different outcomes. Some of them can make them not appear at all, and they can also make more more likely to spawn. As you can see here, this one, the Scorch Fossil, gives you more fire damage modifiers and no cold modifiers. So this means that you cannot get cold resist. Um, yeah, so, but some of them, we still use this even though we cannot get cold resist, right? Um, but that's because um, some of them can enable new mods that normally can't spawn on belts. So, um, as you can see here, Let's take this belt for example here. It has 20% fire damage. Normally you cannot get fire damage on a belt, but because we are using the fossils here, they can spawn some special modifiers um, that cannot normally be obtained. Um, they are, it also has the elemental damage, which is another mod that can be obtained from the prismatic fossil. Um, so the fossils we're using in this video here are the pristine one that gives us more life. Um, it makes uh, the belts not able to roll armor, because armor is a trash mod on belts anyways. So it basically gives us more of the good mods and no armor mods, which is a, which is a trash mod anyways. Um, we also use Scorch Fossils for more fire damage modifiers, as fire damage is uh, in meta right now. Fire damage is very, very nice, um, and you can get some good profit by crafting these belts with fire damage, because Armageddon Brand, Righteous Fire, Scorching Ray, etc., are all builds that benefit on fire damage. And then we also use the Prismatic Fossil, which gives us more elemental damage modifiers. This is really, really nice, as it, for example, buffs the chance of elemental damage with attacks. Um, this is a very, very rare mod, so normally you will almost never see this. It has much lower chances to spawn. Um, I can just show you guys here. As you can see, the physical damage with attacks have a 2.7% uh, percent chance of spawning, 2.8. Um, but the elemental damage with attacks, you can see it's actually 0 0.84, so it's much lower. It's like three times as rare as some of the other mods. Life is 2.79 as well. So um, it increases that, it also gives us more resistances, and it can give us the elemental damage suffix, which is also very, very nice. So overall, we are using all these three, and as you can see here, this site, pudb.tw, um, slash us is the us version of its site um it's very very nice which is for like just fiddling around with the different fossils and you can check the outcomes etc so if we try and tick at the uh, top here some of the fossils that we want to use prismatic you can see that they become more blue which means that they are boosted they have higher chance of spawning you can also see it adds a delve suffix which is the 25 to 30 percent elemental damage and then we also use the pristine one as you can see sub suddenly we lost two mods, we lost the energy shield and the armor, which are trash mods anyways. And you can see life got boosted as well. And then we have the fire damage one, the scorch fossil here. You can see fire resist has a very high chance of spawning. Fire damage has a very high chance of spawning as well, because that's both elemental and fire. Um, so yeah, this is what we're using here. You can see 
most of the good mods have higher chances of spawning so this is overall very very nice um, yeah so let's just jump right into it now guys that was just a, click, a quick explanation and um, yeah now let's go for the full stash we're gonna try to the opal if you run out of belts we're gonna try the opal one because generally I tried a few opal rings and they take um, they take a much many many more tries to get something good or something worthwhile so overall belts are still the most profitable thing um, we can get so let's just go oh starting off this one is almost good you can see here it is fire damage sadly if you could craft elemental damage with the text this would be good it might still be good because for righteous fire or anything else a spellcaster still this damage is enough and it has very high resist so we're gonna probably keep it for now nothing happened on this one you see here we got fire damage again resists it's not quite good enough as a spellcaster build you generally want both fire damage and elemental damage and then it can sell for anywhere between one to two exalts um, this one doesn't have that and it doesn't have life either so it's not even a good attack build oh you see this one is good it has no fossil modifiers though so yeah I don't know about this one it's not the best if it had another resist I would definitely keep that fire damage life nothing else we're gonna reroll that <laughs> this one is trash and this one is bad too this one is bad too this one is very good actually um, we can graft another resist on this because the fire damage is a prefix if you don't know about prefixes or suffixes uh, prefixes and suffixes are basically you can have three of each they are basically the mods in two categories prefixes are when you have a magic item prefixes are what's in front of the name it's the prefix of the item um, let me see if I have a ring I can show you on um, I think I had an open ring at some in some place I think it's in my dump tab okay let's go with the steel ring here the prefix is the one in front of this this is a prefix it says blue and then the suffix would be the thing after it off Ruslatha all items a magic item can have one prefix and one suffix and rare items can have three of each um, this is very important as you cannot craft for example this one here it has six mods you cannot craft anything else but if you have items that already has three suffixes you can only craft a prefix so you cannot get if it always has three resists you cannot craft a fourth um, this is also why you will never see more than three resists on items etc so yeah let's just uh, go ahead and let's go um, this one is not good enough I think no you see this one is very nice it has suffix elemental damage so it has an open prefix it actually has two fire damage is the only prefix on this item you can also if you uh, you can also hold alt if you I think you need to go into the options to enable this but it's advanced mod descriptions which means that you can just see the mods um, as you can see if there's suffixes or prefixes mine is a little bit bugged so the F in uh, suffix is uh, it's not appearing but yeah we can still read anyways um, yeah so this one we can graft elemental damage with the text we definitely gotta do that and we're gonna craft and resist on this one as well 20% nice max roll 31% nice so these belts are very very good this one I don't know about but um, it's probably better than nothing so we're gonna continue. It hit the tier one elemental damage with attacks. It doesn't have anything good though. It has decent life, but it's not higher than a mastercraft. Mm. <laughs> Come on, I feel like this the luck here in this session is much worse than what I would normally get. So you see this one is is decent for spellcasters. It's elemental damage, fire damage, and just these two mods alone. Um, should be able to sell for 40 50 chaos so it's definitely more than what I paid for the base item so we're gonna keep that then we're gonna continue this one is actually a dope righteous fire belt righteous fire just needs a lot of life and fire damage and elemental damage it doesn't have elemental damage but it does have a lot of life because um, strength if you didn't know strength gives us life too it is basically 
half the value of the strength is life, so this is uh, 27.5 life the strength give us. Very nice. We're just going to craft a resist. It's pretty decent. Let's reroll the other ones. Nothing good on that one. Nothing good again. Uh, I would hope that we can get like a really, really good belt. That would be dope. This one is... We can craft a resist, so it's not that bad. You're going to craft cold and lightning in the case of people searching f that it should have all three resists. It will have that if you have cold and lightning on it. <laughs> and then we have the last one here. This one is not even... It's not even that bad. You see, I don't think it will sell though. The macro says no, so we're just gonna trust that. Oh, come on, man. We need something good. Fire damage life, nothing else. Nothing. Oh, man. We didn't even get to use the opal ring. Should we try the opal ring just for fun? The last three? No, you know what? We're not gonna do that because we wanna use some other fossil combinations for that. Um, nope. Nope. And the last one, let's check it out. Oh, it's almost, it's pretty close. We can probably still sell this if we craft life. Two elks. Let's recraft that. We want at least 50. There we go, 55. So I'll just price check these items here and then I'll be right back guys. Alright guys, so um, I've price checked everything now and um, these are the results. Not the best, um, not the best in terms of profit, but still overall decent and we paid around 3 exalted orbs for the cost of all these resonators here and we definitely get it back if we still sell all these belts. So the first one is 60 chaos, then we have 70. 2.5x for this. This is a very, very nice Righteous Fire Belt. Has a ton of life. Then we have another 60 chaos belt. A little bit low life. It could be much more value if it was higher life. Or we could craft another prefix. 2.5x again. Overall, very solid belt for Righteous Fire again. 2.5x for this one as well. And 30 chaos for this. So overall, if we sell all of these, I price them a little lower than their, like, so th they are the cheapest on the market in terms of their stats. Um, and if you just sell them for around this price, we can get at least 7 to 8x, which is a pretty good profit. Bear in mind it will take time to sell, but I generally, most of the time, sell half of the builds I craft within a day or two. So um, it's still very nice profit. So um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It might be a little bit longer than what I used to do, but um, I wanted to get like to tell you guys the process of crafting because I've been getting a lot of requests on that and um, just why you're using these fossils, why you're not using these etc. So I hope this uh, cleared it up a little bit and um, I have some more good stuff coming up uh, in the next couple of videos here guys including um, a build guide for my winter all build. Uh, it's not the gear I have on here trust me I was just using this for leveling <laughs> as I was in a breach a pure breachstone party uh, which is absolutely broken and I managed to reach level 98 yeah I've never been past 95 before so this is absolutely crazy for me but I'm gonna make a video on that too at some point maybe if I get to 100 but yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video no more talk for now and um, yeah have a nice uh, hope you had a nice Christmas and have a happy new year when that comes peace out mm -hmm.